So patients with amyloidosis are quite often misdiagnosed with another disease. And the reason for this is that the symptoms of amyloidosis are very nonspecific and often mimic other more common conditions. For example, neuropathy can mimic uh, diabetic-induced neuropathy. In fact, uh, many patients with amyloidosis end up seeing multiple practitioners before the diagnosis is finally reached. Was that your experience? My experience was not that I don't initially think. I think what happened was someone said, hey, let me test you for. So no one ever brought up amyloidosis to me prior to. Mm -hmm. They were always treating me for congestive heart failure. I've had um, symptoms of lupus, so they diagnosed me with that. So now it's like I'm wondering, okay, was it, did I ever have lupus? Or because I've been in remission so long, so it's like, did I have lupus or was it amyloidosis the whole, whole time, entire time the entire time so if it wasn't for the doctor checking and saying hey yes you have this genetic disorder mm -hmm. then I would have never known about it because none of the other doctors ever mentioned it. yeah and I'm sitting here listening and I'm shaking my head too because like I said I have a friend who was diagnosed and it was probably two years after he first started experiencing symptoms yes. and was being treated for clearly something he did not have